Okay, I just wanted to show off how far I've gotten there. That's looking much, much, much better. And uh, I just need to wet sand it down, like I said, and get that little few little areas. I don't know if you can see that little scratch mark, you know, stuff like that. But uh, it's really, really, really close. And then we can start working from here on the back and working on the deck lid. Um, as you can see, I still got still got a lot of work on the deck lid, but I kind of wanted to get this down further and nice and it's nice and smooth. I got to sand it down just a hair, but anyway, really, really, really close. Um, so I just want to talk about uh, you know something a little different today. I uh, let me adjust this. So, so anyway, I, uh, I got an email from uh, a man named Gary. He owned it before Mike, the person I bought it from. And he bought it off of eBay a long, long time ago. He sold it to Mike and, uh, and then Mike held on to it for a long time. Well, he didn't sell it. He actually traded it. Uh, I do do believe it was a 65 and this car for an airplane. <laughs> yeah. So that's pretty cool. And then Mike, he's the one that sold this to me. Uh, I do believe Gary said he sold it. He either acquired it in 2002 or sold it to, to Mike in 2002. Um, either way, it's set for a while, um, and then now I have it. So even when when Gary had it, the, he already had the wide fenders and everything, and he sent me a picture of what when he had it. And I'll post it right now. Um, but he he called it the Kim Kardashian rear end car. Kim 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 Kardashian. Because of the wide rear end. Me, I think it's AOC and her big old booty myself, but whatever. <laughs> you know, that little meme that's going around with that. Oh, <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's really interesting. So he reached out to me. Um, it's a, uh, he sent me another picture and I didn't realize it, but behind here on the carpet, because I, I knew it was never glued down, which I need to do later on, but he sent me a picture too. And that has the markings on it as an original side pipe car. So that's really cool, you know. So it came originally with the original side pipes. Uh, who knows what happened, uh, you know, to the original side pipes or whatever. Because even when Gary got it, nothing was original on it. And he bought it. When he bought it, he bought it off eBay. Uh, you know, not a sight unseen. He bought it and he basically stored it, you know, and went through the car a little bit, um, you know. And so there's a little bit of history there. So that's kind of cool. And, uh, you know, he sent me, you know, a few, he sent me a few other pictures and other things later on when he gets more time but and finds them. So that's pretty cool, you know. I mean, find a little more history. So, you know. At least we know where the car's been for the last 20 years. He bought the car. It came, did he say Chicago? But I'm, I, I think he said Chicago. I think it was out of Illinois. So he bought it out of Illinois. And uh, yeah, so that's kind of a little bit of a history on it. It's, it's on the C3, or yeah, C3 Corvette registry. So there is a little bit of history to it. Um, he really did like the, he did like my rear spoiler and kind of what I did to that. You know, he kind of saw a few things here and there. So he really did like the rear spoiler. I think that's kind of the nice little thing. And he, you know, he, he's liking what I, I've done so far. So he's glad that, you know, something's happening to the car. Uh, yeah, so that's pretty cool, you know, pretty cool to see. You know how people can still kind of find their old car, and uh, so anyway, if Gary's watching this, I'll kind of go give it a little video of 
walk around for it. So you can kind of see it a little bit, a little bit better. So he, he did ask me if I'm keeping it black. I am keeping it black. Um, this is just like, like I said, a, my own little paint job. And I, I added that front spoiler on there. So make it a little more beefy. And basically I, I'm working from the front back. And like I said, the paint's nothing special. It's better than what it was. And doing all these body lines and getting it nice and, you know, put together. And, uh, yeah, so, that, you know, it's kind of fun um, to see. And I just wanted to show him because I was talking how easy it opens and closes. So just wanted to kind of show him how much easier it is to open and close. Barely have to push. So... And, uh, yeah, we're, we're getting it to where it's going to be a really, really enjoyable car. Uh, once I get done with this, uh, like body work on that, I, I, I will have to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to go to more car shows and stuff like that for sure and drive it. Uh, but after the body work, I need to start saving up more money and I, I want to get a six speed transmission change the suspension up uh you know get some newer newer components uh to where it handles much much better eventually change the wheels and gary wants these wheels back <laughs> so he he has first dibs uh you know so once the body will work and everything and you know you're driving it then then i can do the performance stuff like the modifications for like suspension and stuff like that um, so once again, I think that that front widened out stance looks, looks way, way better. Let me kind of zoom in, maybe get a better view of it. Just looks much, much more, I don't know, like even, you know, before I just had a big wide end and that's what kind of made it interesting to him and that's what made it interesting to me when i bought it is because it was already modified i wanted it to go wide and like i said we're getting there uh the front half is pretty much all done and the rear half not going to take a whole lot but he was surprised at how many how many modifications i already did to it uh there's the top dirty as sin the hard top and uh yeah so anyway that's kind of a, just a, a go over um yeah just a just a quick video um i got a few things to do today i don't know if i'm gonna get to finishing this i'm gonna try to get get back to this door and get this done so i need to do more body work through here first before I paint this because I want to make it nice and flush and level because it's kind of I still got to work on that area right through here at least you know to this first half right in here I want to get that nice and done uh, before I paint any of that okay uh, so that's kind of the update um, you know so kind of cool though you know to, like I said, to see that multiple owners and they're still around and still giving a, you know, still in touch. So it'd be cool if I could find like exactly who came before, before Gary. <laughs> but anyway, all right, guys, uh, I'll see you next time.